Hi, I'm Alec Kriorov, and um, I'm doing this little video to, um, to, to, to show you how um, I work with, uh, with Zoom um, this year because of the, of the pandemic. I've um, been doing Zoom classes with people from around the world. Okay, not so many. I've had four from America, one from uh, um, one from Malaysia, and one from uh, from Belgium. But um, it was a good start, and uh, I learned quite a lot. And I think the people on the course learned quite a lot. We had five sessions, where about two hours each, where we took up some subjects, and uh, I went through them with the people on Zoom. In addition, uh, for these people who, who were on the courses, they had um, a new feature, uh, which we called question and answer. They could, at any time while being on the course, uh, ring me up or mail to me and say, I would like a question and answer session with you. It didn't cost them any extra, but they got about an hour or hour and a half extra with me where they gave me some questions, asked me about some of their problems in painting, and I tried to, to show them um, in a one-to-one -one Zoom session um, how they could solve these problems. And uh, we talked about different things. And um, this is what I want to show you in, in this little video, how um, I solved I tried to solve some of the questions for for one of the participants. She had some questions about this uh, colorful sky, and um, you'll see here how um, how things went. Um, but there is also another thing. I don't know whether you're aware of it, but I've written an ebook about watercolor painting. It's directed mostly for uh, to um, uh, beginners in watercolor. Um, it's it's uh, it's a book with, where you learn techniques by doing things, um, and uh, a little bit later on in this little video here, yeah, there will come a little uh, advertisement for the ebook. So um, stay tuned, and uh, <laughs> you'll find out everything um, about watercolor painting and me. Yeah, so I will now show you a little bit of this um, question answer video that I um, recorded with the girl from uh, from Malaysia. Yeah, okay. well, this is going to be fine, this. Um, and you wanted to know something about uh, painting skies, was it? Yeah, I, I have the most problem with the skies. With I don't sky. know why. Um, okay. The, the more I practice, like if I keep at it, the, the, the second and the third and the fourth one is worse than the first one. The and, first I, one. Yeah. And, I, and I tell myself, okay, take a break. You know, yeah. I tell myself, take a break, uh, wait till next week and come back again. And then I'm all right again. Then you but try then I again. Do, and yeah. Is this any better? <laughs> um, it, that's the thing. The, the, yeah. the first time I try, it's, it's good. And then the second and the third one gets worse the more uh, I try. Okay. And, then, and then, so yeah. I don't know. Is Maybe that I'm the more colorful? Are, are there the more colorful skies or the, or the or the skies in general? Um, I think the the sky where you have the blue and then I lift it out with the yeah. paper that one okay. is fine. Okay. Well, it, it's the sky where yeah. I have to put in the mauve or the, the colorful sky. That, yeah. That's the one I have problems okay. with. Okay, well, we'll have a look at a, a couple of skies because I've got another one here. With... <laughs> now we're going to do this, the, the, this colorful, this colored sky. Okay. Yep. Um, I need to have the four colors which I'm going to be using. I shall have a red, a, a, a yellow, a cadmium yellow. Oops, wait a minute, I've got to record this. Oh, I'm recording it. That's you okay. are recording, yeah. I am recording it, yeah. And then I'll take the other, the red here, which is the alizarin. And then I think I'll take a, yeah, I'll take a ultramarine blue. That's a bit dirty, but okay, let's see what happens with that. 
and a little bit of Payne's grey. So those are the four colours which I'm going to be using on this sky. Okay, so there are the four colours there. I'll have to wet my paper. I've got some more clean water here, so that's what I'm going to be using now. Okay, I wet the paper. Whoops. Going all over the place now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I wet the whole whole of the paper that I'm going to be painting on. So the whole paper is wet. And then I start with the first color, which is the yellow color. How okay, so wet is the paper? Is it the paper like is wet? Glistening? The paper is really wet now. Glistening. Yeah. Wet. Okay. I'll take a little bit of the of the yellow. So I'll take the yellow here onto my brush and I put it, I'm, I'm not trying to make it in stripes or anything. I'm just trying to put some color on the paper, trying to, see it's, it's, I'm not trying to make it go in stripes or anything. I'm just putting the color on. And here I go over the top of the paper and here I go over the top of the paper, because if you don't do that, you must probably put the other color around it and that's not a good idea. So to, mm -hmm. to stop myself from putting the, the red color around the yellow here, I've gone all the way up to the edge of the paper. Now I take the red color. Okay, so I take a bit of red color here. And I put it over the over the yellow. And I take a bit more of the red and I put it over here somewhere. But when I put these two colors on, then I go back to my water, wash the brush out. So there is no color in the brush, just water. And I look at I look at this here. And if I like it, then I keep it. If I don't like it, for example, here, it's a little bit sharp, these two, these two colors. So I want to get them to run a little bit into each other. Um, here, it's a bit sharp. Okay, so here, perhaps I want to, them to run a little bit into each other. Here, it's quite sharp, but I don't do it everywhere. Just, that, that's most probably enough. See, the problem with this technique is you've got to do it so many times that you know what to expect. Otherwise, you'll just mix the whole thing into one color. That's not, that's, the idea is to get as many colors out of these uh, four colors as possible. So now mm. I'm going to move it to the blue. Now I know if I paint the blue onto the yellow, then I'll get green. I don't really want a green. So I'm going to paint it more where I've got the where I've got the red. But I know that if I'm beginning to mix in a red, yellow, and blue, I'm going to get brown, and I'm get beginning. I'm starting to get some brown color here, but that's okay. I'll I can live with that. I think I put some more blue here. Perhaps a little bit more there. Now it's not blue because I've mixed some colors on the paper, so now they're brown. So if I spread any color, it's the it's the brown color I'm spreading. It's not the it's not the blue color. I'll just take a bit bit more blue here. Now I've taken the st very strong blue color here. But then again, I wash the brush out. I've, I've washed the, the color out of the brush, so it's only water in the brush now. And if I want to to dissolve any of the colors or mix any of the colors on the paper, then I'm doing it with a wet brush. There's no color in the brush. Okay, so there isn't, uh, the only thing I'm doing with the brush now is just spreading the color around. But you've got to do this pretty quickly because if you wait too long, then the, um, you, you risk getting um, runbacks, you know, if you if you put yeah. color, then you start getting some funny things happening. So you've yeah, got yeah. It while it's still wet. 
Hmm, I have a problem with the run backs and I have a problem with the brown as well. And then I go in with more blue and then and then because I go in with more blue or whatever, yeah. and then it, well, it creates the run back. Yeah, well, yeah, well, then but then you shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now I'll, I'll just try and get some cloud, uh, just one cloud. See, now I've got my paint's gray color here. Hmm. I'll put it up at the top somewhere up here. And I'll just make it go through here like that. But then I wash the color out of the brush. The important thing is that when you go back and you want to start mixing the color on the paper, that you've got no color in your brush. It's only wet. It's, it's, it's only water. So, so the brush has to be wet. And then you can go in and just push these colors around. You're, you're, you're using the colors that you've got on the paper. You don't have any color in the brush. So. so at this point, is your paper still glistening it's wet? It's still wet. Or? It's still wet. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah. It's still wet. You can. I don't know if you can see it. Well, yeah, yes, you can oh, see okay. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's really it's still, wet. It's still yeah. wet, yeah. Hmm. And the, the thing is with these sort of skies, they develop. Um, it's completely different now from what it was when I started. And I had yeah. no idea how it will get. I didn't like it too much at the start, but now I've got something like a sun here, perhaps behind mm -hmm. some, some there's a big cloud that's coming here now. I mean, it's, it's not too bad now. Yeah. And I could, by adding a little bit of yellow to my paints gray, get a very dark green. And with that, I could try and get some trees or something. Okay. So here, for example, I could just start by, by putting a, some, some land or whatever you want to call it. And the, the funny thing with this is, I don't know whether you can see it, but because it's still wet here, then you're starting to get um, some trees or, or, or small bushes or grass or it's something like that growing on the paper while you're watching it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but I could try and oh, I, I actually quite like this. It, is there a way to correct any mistakes like those run backs? <sighs> Uh, or is it's like know, I mean, just throw backs, the paper away, start fresh? Yeah, run backs are very difficult to um, to 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 uh, to correct. Let's see if I can get a run back. I, I have to have an area which is still a little bit wet, but not too wet. Um, oh, I think I should, yeah. Let's see if I can get a run run back somewhere here. I just have to drop some water onto this. See, that, see that, that's, yeah. those are the things there. Mm -hmm. And you say, is there any way of correcting it? Well, the only way to correct it, um, see, if I try and do anything now, I'll just get more and more of this. If I, if I come with a wet brush to this, this area here, I'll just get more and more of this. So the, the idea is to, 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 to dry it. Mm. If you want to correct it, you, it's got to be on dry. So I'm going to use my hairdryer here. Now, the only way to correct this is, is to um, dissolve some of the pigment around and push it or, or, or paint it over the... It's no good taking pi pigment from your palette because it's pretty sure that it won't be the same color. But the pigment that's on here, if it's not too big an area, it should be, it, 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 it may be possible. I don't, I'm not saying it is possible. It may be possible to take a little brush like this and start dissolving color around and pulling it over the white areas. If it's a very big area, then I would give up because it, there's, there's no way you can do that. But um, it would be, can you, oh, you can't see it there. Whoops. Here you would, you would dissolve the color and 
pull it across this area. But that mm. can give you areas in the in, in the edges of this. So actually, it is very, very difficult to correct runbacks. Yeah. Most people okay. will start. Again, you've got to really be able to dissolve all this all these pigments around the edges and pull them over onto the. But if it's too big an area, then it's it's you, you don't have enough pigments mm. around to 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 do this. So it's almost impossible to. Could you go over that with with the paints gray again, like like well, you do? Well, that's what I'm yeah. doing now. Yeah. See, I've taken a little okay. bit of paints gray, and I'm painting oh. it over. But you can you can still see where it was, so it's it's very difficult to to get the right to get the right uh, amount of color to 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 hide this. This is almost impossible. Mm, okay. I've, I've I've got rid of small runbacks, very small runbacks, um, but this is a, a a rather big one. But okay, it is a cloud. So, <laughs> yeah. So perhaps one could make an even bigger cloud. Yeah, like with the morph color yeah. cloud that that yeah you know. So one could per perhaps make an even bigger cloud. And that would get it to disappear. Yeah. Right? And then at the edges here, then I would try and dissolve it out. Mm. But, okay. I mean, you can see it's um, it's 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 almost disappeared now, but this only disappeared because there is a great big dark area on top now <laughs> That's right. so, so um and then you have to soften it so you have to soften really it really broad the, area at the bottom yeah so then you have to sort of again just with a wet brush and uh, i've got water in it I just sort of dry it like that and go in and just dissolve the edges of this but it's it's not the It's not the, the easiest of things to do, but, um, right. but anyway, before we get be, be, before we started repairing this and before we started painting the new clouds on, um, the sky seemed to be all, all right. Perhaps we should have waited a little bit longer because now, because while uh, these colors dry, they of course mix into each other as well, and they some um, mm. uh, you, you get softer edges between colors and things like that. And it was probably would have been a very nice, nice sky. <laughs> yes, but now you've got a monsoon going. Now, on. now I've got a, no, yeah, we've just had a lot of rain here. It's just been uh, really pounding down on the window. It's, it's it <laughs> came from from a cloud like that, <laughs> and you can see what's happening here at the bottom. This this is also um, see the, the, these these funny things here. Mm -hmm. See the characteristic thing of wet into wet is that the the, the 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 edges between colors disappear. That's a good good example almost here, where you can't see where one color stops and the other one starts. They sort of run into mm. each other. And the same at the bottom here. So this is beginning. The, the, hello, it, it, it was because it's such a dark color and light color here. Perhaps you won't get such a nice um, running of colors into each other there because it's it's such a store, uh, su such a big contrast here. But you can see it's 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 getting much softer. But then now it's dry, so now it's stopped. Mm. But um, yeah. So that was the that was the colored colored sky. Was there anything else you had any problems with? <laughs> um, no, mainly the skies and the, the yeah. hard edges. Sometimes yeah. I go back with a wet tissue and I try to you know rub it out and soften it. Yeah, I mean if you if if, if it works, then it works. But um, I, I should imagine it would be quite uh, 
quite difficult. But if yeah. you're going to try and correct things, wait till things are dry, very dry. Uh, okay. Um, if they're still half wet or, or just about dry, then you start getting, um, you start uh, dissolving the the pigments too easily and, and it sort of runs away from, uh, from you. But um, you've got to wait till things are really completely dry and then you can uh, dissolve some of the pigments and drag them across other things. But, um, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I was trying to correct uh, things when it's wet and then I get ah, a wetter paper and I uh, get the bigger run no. back. So uh, that, yeah, it gets worse and worse. Yeah. 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 If you like the way that I teach and believe that you can benefit from my, my lessons, then I would suggest that you have a look at my ebook. The book called uh, Watercolor, a book of watercolor techniques is um, available uh, from my webpage. The ebook contains 23 chapters and is written with people starting in watercolor in mind. There are sections on painting theory, tips and tricks, and step-by-step -step painting instructions. The book is now improved with extra illustrations and video clips. The ebook costs 15 US dollars and one pays by PayPal. I send you the book by email after I have confirmation of the payment. So go to my ebook webpage and see the contents of the of the chapters. And um, if you decide to buy it, then you can see how to order it on the same page. Also, I want to ask you, uh, the, the type of paper matters, right? Yeah. Um, because one type of paper seems really thirsty and it's glistening and yeah. I put the paint on, but yeah. the paint doesn't, doesn't um, spread and run into each other. They no. remain okay. streaky on the paper, even though yeah. the paper is really wet. Yeah. Okay, there are two types of paper. Um, there is paper which is made just of um, uh, cellulose. They take the wood and they pulp it and um, make paper out of that. And it's just pure wood pulp. And that's almost pure cellulose. That doesn't take too, too, too kindly to a lot of water. It, it, it doesn't absorb water. Then there's the other paper which has a lot of, um, of cotton in it. We've mm. seen the paper with 100% cotton, 50% cotton. Have you seen this? Uh, you, yeah. you can buy, yeah. Paper which has cotton in it is, of course, a little bit more expensive than cellulose paper, but it's, mm. it's, it absorbs water better. It's softer mm. as well. It's, it's softer to the touch and it, it, it absorbs water um, much, 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 much more. Um, cellulose paper will, will buckle quite easily. And ah, okay. paper with cotton, it, it, it takes a bit more water to, to make that buckle. So, um, so okay. th th there is a difference between papers, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And I think the cotton paper will, will retain the colors better. I find that the colors are more vibrant. Yeah, well, okay. Because the, you, the, you the, kept uh, your feedback. One of your feedback is that my colors are too weak. Yeah. And then yeah, suddenly I changed yeah. paper and yeah. I used the same my, amount. Yeah. And they were the, they were stronger. Well, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, that's that's something you've got to um, discover for yourself as well. I mean, yeah, you can, of course you can ask, but um, if you if you discover it for yourself, that's even even better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah. that is true. Yeah. Um. What do you say? I'll, I'll, I'll make the, a video out of this, and I'll send you the link so you can get that. What do you say that I also make it available to the other people? Yeah, sure, sure. I think they can also learn something. Um, I had a sort of question and answer thing with with um, with the girl from from Belgium, and then I sent mm. the video around. And um, I think because there are some things here which uh, which I've explained in a different way, and I explained before. So I mm. think that also the others will get a little bit out of. So that's okay with you, actually. Yeah. That I do. Yeah, that. yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. shared with everybody. Yeah, got. Yeah. Anything else you want to know? Um, no, that that's it so far. Let me try again and make more mistakes and yeah, yeah, but that's fine. More questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, send me, send me some. Yeah, let me see what what you do, and if you want <laughs> to have another session sometime, then um, 
then just say say so. So we can have yeah. another session. If there's okay, something else great, you want great. to say. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay then. Thank you very much, Alec. Yep. Okay. Bye bye. Bye now.